example number one, we're going to factor and we're going to factor the trinomial x squared plus 6x plus 8. When we factor trinomials, we're going to work with the first term and we're going to work with our last term. Our first and last terms, I'm going to put a multiplication sign up above them because the terms below them have to multiply up to x squared and the terms below 8 have to multiply to 8. My seminar terms have to add up to 6x. So I asked myself, factors of x squared. Well, in order to get x squared, I'd have to multiply x times x. Then I asked myself, well, what are factors of 8? Factors are, of 8 are 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. My center terms have to add up to 6x. So which of these combinations would it be possible to add up to 6? Well, let's try 2 and 4. So what I do now, I multiply that x times 2, which gives me 2x, x times 4, which gives me 4x. If I check this, x times x gives me x squared, 2x plus 4x gives me positive 6x, and 2 times 4 gives me positive 8, which is what I started with. So I did factor correctly. So when I factor, I grab this top left x and I'm going to write it down with that bottom right 4. So I write x plus 4. Then I grab this bottom left x and I cross it and combine it with that positive 2. So my factors of x squared plus 6x plus 8 are x plus 4 times x plus 2. Example number two, we're going to factor the trinomial x squared minus 10x plus 16. So once again, the first term and the last term multiply up to those results. The center terms have to add up. So I asked myself, factors of x squared are x times x, and factors of 16 are 1 and 16, 2 and 4, I mean 2 and 8, 4 and 4. So I need to make sure that my center terms add up to 10. Looking at these numbers, I think I can use the numbers 2 and 8 as my factors. And now I multiply the x with this 2. This gives me 2x. x times 8, which gives me 8x. But I need them to add up to a negative 10. Right now, if I add them, they become positive. So in order for them to add up to negative 10x, I have to switch the sign of both of them. But if I switch the sign of the center terms, I also switch the sign of the terms on the right. So if I check this now, x times x gives me x squared. Negative 2x minus 8x is negative 10x. Negative 2 times negative 8, a negative and a negative is a positive 16. And I do get the same result. So that means I am factoring correctly. So now to write down my factors. I grab this top left x and I'm going to combine it with that bottom negative 8. So x minus 8. Then I grab this bottom x and I combine it with that top right negative 2. So I put x minus 2. So my factors of x squared minus 10x plus 16 are x minus 8 times x minus 2. Example number three, we're going to factor x squared plus 2x 
minus 15. Once again, the first and last terms will multiply up. The center terms have to add up to that number. So I ask myself, factors of x squared are x and x. Factors of 15 are 1 and 15 and 3 and 5. I need to make sure that my center terms add up to 2x. So I think that the best possible combination to use would be 3 and 5. When I multiply my outside numbers, x times 3 will give me 3x. x times 5 gives me 5x. But I need to make sure that these two add up to a positive 2x. So in order to get a positive 2x, I would have to make the 3x into a negative. Since I make this 3x into a negative, I make that number on the right into a negative as well. So when I check this, x times x gives me x squared. Negative 3x plus 5x does give me a positive 2x. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And this is exactly the same. So I can now write out my factors. Grab this top left x. Combine it with that bottom 5, so it's x, and since the 5 is positive, I put plus 5. And then I grab this bottom x and combine it with that top right number, which is a negative 3, so I put x minus 3. So our factors are x plus 5 times x minus 3. Example number 4, we're going to factor and solve the trinomial x squared plus 5x minus 6 equal to 0. So once again, I know that that x squared, the factors have to multiply up to it. And for the factors of 6 or negative 6, they have to multiply up to negative 6. The center terms have to add up to 5x. So once again, I start by multiplying or finding my factors of x squared. Factors of x squared are x and x. Factors of 6, well, the factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. So I know that my center terms have to add up to 5x, but my last term has to multiply up to a negative 6. So which combination would work best? Let's try 2 and 3. x times 2 is 2x, x times 3 is 3x. Is there any, what if I I can add these up to positive 5x, but my last two terms do not multiply up to a 6, a negative 6. So this isn't going to work. So let's try a different, this different combination. So x squared plus 5x minus 6 equal to 0. Since 2 and 3 didn't work, I'm going to try using 1 and 6 as my factors. So factors of x squared are x and x. Factors of 6 are 1 and 6. My center terms have to add up. So x times 1 is 1x, or just x, whichever you prefer. x times 6 is 6x. They have to add up to positive 5x. So in order for them to add up to positive 5, I have 6 and 1, so I would have to subtract 1 from 6. But since I made this one a negative, then I make the one to the right of it a negative as well. So when I check this, x times x is x squared. Negative 1x plus 6x is positive 5x. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. That is exactly what we started with. So now I factor this. I have x, I combine it with 6.
and x and combine it with that negative one. And I can't forget that equal to zero. And as soon as I see this equal to zero, that means that I'm using the zero product property. Since I'm using the zero product property, that means that each of these sets, I have to make them equal to zero. So I now write x plus six equals to zero and x minus one equals to zero. So I have to solve for x. So on the left, in order to solve for x, I subtract six on both sides. So my answer is x equals negative six. On the right, I have to add one on both sides and x equals to one. So my solution is x equals negative six and one.